Hello there, this is David from David Books and Comics, and today I want to share with you some of the 1960s versions of uh, Matt Helm by Donald Hamilton. And this is the first uh, book in that series, the Matt Helm series. The Matt Helm series is a, a, a spy novel series, and... Uh, Let's see, let's look at the publisher. It's uh, published, uh, uh, copyright, I should say, 1960. Uh, this isn't the first edition, but uh, it's uh, packaged as a uh, paperback original. Now, um, Donald Hamilton uh, wrote uh, a total of uh, 28 novels, uh, 27 of which were, were published. Um, most of them were published by uh, Fawcett Gold Medal. And um, Donald Hamilton uh, uh, originally was born in Sweden, came um, to uh, the United States with his family uh, in 1924. Um, he died in uh, 2006. Most of his uh, life in... Um, in the U.S. was lived in uh, Santa Fe, uh, New Mexico. Uh, he uh, wrote uh, various genres, not just spy fiction. Um, this was the most popular of all of his of all of his uh, uh, total of thirty eight uh, books that he started uh, publishing back in uh, nineteen forty seven. Uh, some of his uh, um, some of his books uh, were made into movies, including four uh, Matt Helm films with uh, Dean Martin in the lead role. Um, they generally followed, even though they had the titles of the original novels, they generally followed uh, loosely the plot of the novels, but they it wasn't as uh, as close as uh, it could have been. So there were actually uh, four Dean Martin films. Uh, the first one was The Silencers. The second one was The uh, Murderer's Row. The fourth one was The Ambushers. And uh, the fifth, or sorry, the th third one was The Ambushers. The fourth one was The Wrecking Crew. And The Wrecking Crew uh, also starred uh, Sharon Tate, and that was her last film before she was, uh, before she was killed. Um, and what's notable about the last film, The Wrecking Crew, is that it was the choreography uh, uh, was credited and was actually done uh, by uh, the fight choreography was done by Bruce Lee. So that's this is the first in the novels, um, uh, Death of a Citizen. So I'll show you another version of it, also from Fawcett. And there's your there's Donald Hamilton. So that's the the uh, another version of uh, the um, death of a citizen. This is the second novel in the series, The Wrecking Crew. Now the the Matt Helm books uh, read like uh, detailed investigative procedurals. They they are uh, likened to um, Dashiell Hammett's uh, work, uh, like uh, his uh, Continental Ops series and his um, uh, Maltese Falcon. And of course, uh, as many know, uh, Dashiell Hammett himself was a Pinkerton investigative uh, uh, agent. And many of his, uh, as a private detective. He was a real private detective in real life. And many of his novels featured uh, the details that you would expect to see in, in um, private detection. The next book in the series is this one. It's called The Removers. I'm gonna flip through that one. And yeah, this one's copyright 1961. It's not a paperback original. 
The paperback originals first came out, as I said before, in the uh, gold medal uh, pu publishing imprint. The next one uh, made into a film it was called the, the Silencers. And that's one edition of the Silencers. There's a picture of Matt Helm. This is an earlier one, 1962 copyright. And here's another edition. Nice uh, near mint, fine copy. 1962 copyright. The next one is uh, Murderer's Row. And this is an early edition. Not the original. See the second printing, February 1964. And here's another version tight, clean copy. And there you see uh, a picture of Dean Martin. So there's that one. The next one is the Ambushers. And I believe this one is an actual paperback original. Yeah. This is the paperback original, uh, published and copyright 1963. See the back. And here is a later edition with Dean Martin on the cover. There you go. Nice clean copy. And here's another, this is The Shadowers. This one also is a paperback original. Let me just look. Yeah, first printing, 1964, copyright 1964, paperback original. First edition. And this is the Ravagers. And so you, there's a misprint there. But this is a paperback original also. 1964. These are excellent reads featuring uh, hard boiled style uh, crime fiction. Um, Paperback original, 1965, The Devastators. They have these one-word titles. And this is a later edition. Do you look? Yeah, later edition. And this is The Betrayers. This is a paperback original, first edition. All of the books that I have are from the 60s, it's from 1966. This is The Menacers. They all have this line drawing cover. I'm just going to look and see if it indicates the artist. Hard to know, for me, it's hard to know who the artist is. They appear to be signed, or at least initialed. I'm not sure. And this is the last of the ones that I have, all from the 60s. This is the Interlopers. Again, a paperback original. 
And oh, maybe not 60s, maybe 70s. Oh, 69. They're fast-paced reads. Uh, many people consider them um, more authentic in terms of presenting the how um, spies, international spies, actually function. Many of them take place. Many of the stories take place in uh, the areas that uh, Donald Hamilton frequented. So, uh, New Mexico. Um, Many of them have nautical themes because uh, Donald Hamilton himself lived on, for many years, lived on a yacht. He uh, eventually moved back to Sweden and that's where he, uh, he passed away in 2006. I'll show you another Donald Hamilton novel that I have. This one's called uh, Line of Fire. Uh, and it's a suspense novel. Uh, let's see. It's not an original, but copyright is from 1955. Donald Hamilton's uh, books, like I said, uh, many of them were made into films. Uh, two of them, um, one of them was made into a, a film noir film with Sterling Hayden. Um, I can't remember the title, but the other ones are uh, Big Country, which was initially, his, uh, Hamilton's initial title was called Ambush at Blanco Canyon, which was uh, uh, an initially a Dell paperback published back in 1958. The Big Country starred uh, Gregory Peck in the title, in the title role, in the, uh, in the uh, lead role. The other one was uh, called Violent Men um, with Glenn Ford and Barbara Stanwyck. And it was originally from a, a, a Dell uh, paperback called, uh, published in 1955, called uh, Smoky Valley. So, so I hope you enjoyed this little foray into my collection of Donald Hamilton. Um, some people in... Uh, and consider the first novels of the Matt Helm series to be the uh, the best of the Donald Hamilton, uh, Matt Helm uh, books. And um, many of them, I, like I said, were uh, considered to be uh, critically acclaimed, some of the best f spy fiction. Uh, Ever written. All right, so uh, thanks again for subscribing and uh, uh, give me a, a thumbs up if you like what you've seen. And uh, and thanks again for all the viewers who've viewed all uh, my other ch my other episodes. Um, and remember uh, to subscribe to help the channel. All right, thanks. Bye.